Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you all to this event. Thank you for taking the time out this morning to be part of Business in the Community's CEO Breakfast Forum. There's a restructuring happening across retail. Some businesses are responding to that very creatively and others aren't. And the simple facts are those that don't and don't change will um, potentially go out of business. We're all here today, myself included, because we continue to strive to want to be better leaders, better human beings and make sure we don't repeat the mistakes of others in the past in similar situations, but indeed that we try and make life better, if nothing else, for our people and for our customers. Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Thank you for attending Business in the Community's second Responsible Business Conference, which happens to coincide with its 25th anniversary here in Northern Ireland. It's critical that business continues to look to the future. While I, on my travels across Northern Ireland, see many businesses from many sectors, all of which are planning for the short, the medium, and the long-term future. It's undoubted that we can always do more to future-proof our economy and realize the potential that exists. What does CSR mean in that kind of age? Well, it means getting the culture right. That's the only thing that will protect your business against reputational blow-ups and issues. It's not policies. It's, uh, it's not compliance checks. It's having the right day-to-day -day culture to make the right decisions. What are we facing? Why is this a big shift? It's a big shift, I think, because in all my time of running a service business, I had not seen this coming, and today we see it. And that is the market is no longer consumed by who is consuming and where. That is how we design all our services, all our products today. And it's shifting to how people are consuming and why. Giving people a purpose is something which enables you to unlock their ability for their own careers. And for us, that's quite simple. We have a um, a mantra which is about saving customers money every day because we believe that's a purpose that is worth getting after making a difference for communities that we serve resources go into career guidance and for employees to tell us as employers what they want but we also need to sell to them we need to sell in order to retain the, the, the talent that we're looking for to look for the talent that we're looking for and the best talent is not always the person who achieves the most but can actually achieve the most with the least resources or it can be the person who's most who can create or, or harness an environment in our workforce and we do need to remember if this is what they're looking for let's let's paint our product which is our jobs to them in the way in which they particularly are, would be interested gen z is people born between 1995 and 2010 what they actually want this purpose beyond profit. What I see all the time is, is, is basically students who don't have the confidence or feel empowered. My goal is to make sure that everyone I come into contact with feels that empowerment. Basically, it says out the business model, there's three things. There's customer value. Customers need to value what you're providing for them, and in our world, that means ever and ever more sustainable homes. There's economic value, so I need to give a return on the shareholders, and I need a strong balance sheet. And then there's societal value. I'm creating jobs, I'm collecting taxes, and I'm doing the right thing by the environment and in society. To business, continue to lead and champion the sustainability agenda take a long-term view and truly align values and business goals. To our employees, continue to challenge business to embrace this agenda. To our small businesses and to our social enterprises, Richard's just highlighted the one billion opportunity that's out there. You are flexible, you can be innovative, grasp some of that opportunity. And to our young people, continue that positivity that, that, that this panel showed today challenge the status quo and be the stone in our shoes. Mm -hmm. 